Welcome to a new vlog from the way we saw it today. We are traveling again in Mexico and you haven't heard from us for a long time and you probably know why because we were simply not able to travel. We want to take you today to a new destination in Mexico which is called Roca Blanca. We are currently around 40 minutes west of Puerto Escondido uh, close to Casa Vavi which is a beautiful place so if you haven't been you can see all the details from Casa Vavi up there and we have a friend here currently visiting so we visited the space again and while I'm talking I'm going to show you some pictures I took yesterday because Casa Vavi has some new art pieces in exhibition and if you go to Casa Vavi we highly recommend you to book or look on Airbnb for accommodations because they are beautiful new properties and houses to rent. So today our excursion will take us to Roca Blanca which is another around I would say 20 minutes west on the coast and it's supposed to be a beautiful beach on the Pacific Ocean. Let's go! Blanca, it was about 15 to 20 minutes right from the beach of Casawabi and you can see behind me the big beach without a lot of development and all these restaurants are here at the Roca Blanca serving fish, cervezas, that's beer but we will come later for a little snack here When you come to Roca Blanca, to the main beach, you just go all the way to the right. You climb over a few rocks and stones and then comes a little bay. And then you continue climbing. And then comes another little beach. And then comes this beautiful big beach. So it's really worth doing the little effort. Probably depends also a little bit on the tide to have this beach almost only for you and for a few seabirds. After the day at the beach, we decided to stop at Mariscos Roca Blanca for some food. And today they got some fresh lobster that we are going to enjoy with papas and with some melted butter and chipotle sauce and this it has garlic in it. Amazing sea view and there comes another portion. Ay, 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 look at this. So after this delicious lunch at the beach we had a few hours of relaxing and napping before heading to the next dinner and this dinner is happening in a new restaurant in the area which is a Japanese culinary journey so let's see what Japanese food in Mexico is anyway as Frito was saying earlier we haven't moved at all or traveled at all since this whole mess started in the world uh, we even got isolated for three months, the months of April, May and June. And uh, we got credentials so we could pass the, the uh, controls from the village we are staying at. They closed all the roads and we couldn't get out or come in if we didn't have credentials. So 
The village was really, really quiet. Uh, there was actually nobody at the beach, even if the beach was open. All restaurants or hotels were closed. And we must say that we really enjoyed that time. We were cooking at home, we were gardening, we were baking, we were making kombucha, all kinds of stuff that we usually never did before. So we learned how to make sourdough bread and all kinds of things. We really enjoyed that time, even if it was, of course, for, a, for an emergency reason. But anyways, this is actually our first trip outside of our village in a year. So we are very happy for all your comments and asking how things are going with us, why we are not posting anything. So that's why we wanted to post this little update for you, for our followers, to tell you that everything is fine, we're okay, we're safe and healthy. We hope you are too. So this uh, restaurant where we are going now as said, is a culinary journey through Japan and we will blend in some images here of the food that we are enjoying there and before closing this vlog we hope that you enjoy these images of this fantastic Japanese food in Mexico. Thank you for watching the way we saw it back on track. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.